Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering another statics problem, specifically under part F, moment of inertia. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so in this problem, we are giving this shape here, we are also giving x prime, right? So x prime is at 350 millimeters from the x axis, and we want to find the moment of inertia about the x prime axis, okay? So the first thing you got to do is split the shape into two shapes, right? And then the next, you're going to have to use the parallel axis theorem equation to be able to find the moment of inertia. Now, for the parallel axis theorem equation, you have dy, and dy is going to be, for this problem, is going to be the distance from the centroid of each shape, right, to x prime, just like we discussed in the previous problem. Now, if you haven't seen that problem yet, check it out. Make sure that you guys do because we cover a lot of important concepts and it's going to help you understand this problem as well, okay? We also have a cheat sheet. Make sure that you download it. It has all the concepts that we're going to talk about here and some other important concepts that you need to know to pass your FE exam. So with that information, why don't you guys give this problem a try? Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you in a little bit. By the way, guys, if you find this problem helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also for the next problem, I was thinking to cover the radius of gyration. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and comment below. Okay, guys, so for this problem, just like we mentioned, we are going to use the parallel axis theorem equation for both shapes because we're trying to find the moment of inertia about the x prime axis, okay? So for the first shape, we have Ixc, so that's going to be bh cubed over 12. So these equations are already provided to you guys on the reference handbook. So here we have the parallel axis theorem equation. And if you guys go to the end of statics, here you have the equation. So we have a rectangle, and so Ixc is bh cubed over 12. So let's go ahead and write that down. And then also what I like to do is just write down here, we have b, this is going to be h, right? Just identify these variables so that way we don't make a mistake when we plug in into the equation okay so we have b is going to be 25 then 300 and we're going to cube it and then divide it by 12 so that's going to be the bh cubed over 12 then we're going to have plus the area for shape one which is going to be 25 times 300 and then times dy okay so dy again is going to be the distance from the centroid of shape one right, to the x prime axis. So this is exactly going to be dy1, okay? So we're gonna, what we can do here is take 350, because that's where x prime is, right, and then subtract this distance here. And this distance is just going to be half of 300, right, which is 150. So we can do here 350 minus 150, and then don't forget to square this term, okay? So this is going to be dy. Now let's go ahead and add shape 2. So we're going to do plus Ixc for shape 2 is going to be the same as shape 1, which is bh cubed over 12. So here we're going to do 400. Now 25 is going to be cubed, and then we're going to divide this term by 12. Then we're going to do plus the area, which is 400 times 25, and then dy. So dy, again, is going to be the distance from the centroid of shape 2, right? to x prime, okay? So again, what we can do here is we can take 350, right? And subtract from it this distance here, okay? Now this distance is going to be 312.5 because the distance from here to here, that's half of 25, which is 12.5. So let me just write it down. And then this distance here is 300. So that gives us 312.5. So we can do 350 minus 312.5, and then don't forget again to square this term. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get 3.7 times 10 to the power of 8. And this is going to have the unit of millimeters to the power of 4. So if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be B. Now, so, so far, guys, we have covered all the three different types of moment of inertia, right? So we have moment of inertia about the centroidal x-axis. We covered that. We also covered in the previous video the moment of inertia above the x-axis. And then here 
we covered the moment of inertia about x prime axis okay so it's very important guys that you know the difference between these three different types of moment of inertia really understand when to use the parallel axis theorem equation when to just use ix which we covered previously and also dy right dy and dx are very important make sure you know what is dy and, and dx because on the fe exam you could be asked any of these moment of inertia okay so and read the question very carefully as well during the exam so that you can solve for the right moment of inertia now when i was in college i don't remember in my statics class covering really moment of inertia about the x-axis or x prime right i remember we focused a lot on the centroidal x-axis or y-axis but i don't remember covering the x-axis or x prime axis so um i think a lot of people struggle with this topic and i don't think there are a lot of problems out there that covers this so make sure that you guys take advantage of this go ahead, go ahead and go over these problems make sure you have a good understanding of them and i really hope this helps you with your fe preparation now if you enjoyed this problem and you felt like you really understood the concepts and you were able to follow along and really understand the problem and you're trying to pass your fe exam then make sure to check out our courses because they are designed to not only help you understand the problems and understand the concepts, but also pass your FE exam with confidence. So make sure to check it out. And before you go, make sure to check out this playlist here that has over 100 FE problems and it's going to help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,